Okay, so we are going to continue with the, uh, could, um, could you close the door please? Thank you. That's his, he's going. Okay, please be seated with your previous group because we are going to continue working in that way. We are in the second part of the session. So... I think we we'll miss some people, but we need to we need to start the session because uh, we need to go and change our uh, uniform and uh, wear our uniforms and so on. You know, looks very nice for the closing ceremony. So I think we we are been uh, developing the process during the the first session. So now we are in the 
in this exercise that we would like that every every group start to work and we have two new uh, members to the session so you can just please join one of the process in every group so we have here like a four uh, like a regular activities like a scouts activities hike a camp community service activity and the jota and, and jyoti okay so what you are going to do right now it's you are going to write and develop some kind of uh, chronological development about one of these one of these uh, um, activities okay so let's see like you will choose like a camp so you will choose a camp and you will try to reflect very quick like uh, the skills that uh, uh, are needed for this and uh, and also how they can develop let's let's put it in the other way you will choose let's say the camp okay so you will start to think about okay we need planification we need we will need uh, um, to try to organize teams we need to set the place and blah 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 and after that we will uh, have like a like a, the camp ready okay so at the end you need to try to tell us what kind of skills you think will be necessary for to accomplish this plan for the camp okay for the camp let's think like uh, it's, it's a group of youth that are working on this so what kind of skills do you think they need for for try to yes for try to to help them or why what kind of skill we do we need for try to make this uh, camp real okay so you can you can write or do you can just discuss you can take notes so at the end how we are going to present this okay we would like that uh, maybe two or three members from every group will uh, make like some kind of play role okay so let's see okay so we are now in in um, okay we are now to camp okay so we are going to Australia to camp in okay so we are here and now we need what we need to bring to Australia okay so oh are we going by boat are we going by airplane and you know just like a very specific process not very long and uh, so at the end you will say okay I think at the end we will need this kind of skills for try to develop this so we, we would like that you try to act like a one minute no more than that and after that you you will give us a, a very small explanation okay it is clear what skills are developed without you actually thinking of them but they are there because we're doing the hike or they're preparing them. okay so you have five minutes no you have six minutes yeah. I'm better now okay <laughs> good And if you could present it in a table where you have like the activity, the planning of the activity, and the points or the skills that you develop, it would be also very clear.
Yeah. 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 Thank <laughs> you. 
that right? Yeah. 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 Technology <laughs> skills are also Okay. They can, yes, yes. <clears throat> okay, so just remind that you need to go. At least four or three of you, or could be only two, that will represent the activity. Okay, so you have one more minute. Okay, one more minute. One more minute. Yes. It's a role play. You can, if, if it's, it is more, uh, much better if you can present all the steps, okay? One more minute, one more minute. Okay, are you ready with the play roll? Who's gonna be the first group to come to the stage? Uh, okay, 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, four, three, two, okay. Two, one, okay. Okay, so who's coming on stage first? Maybe we need to move these chairs over there for the camera, so the group. This is all the stage, your floor, okay? So this is the stage, so you can come here and make the presentation, okay? So who is the first group? <laughs> okay, so you want to start? Yes? Okay. You need the microphone? No? Yes, yes, yes. What a hike that was. Oh. Could we get it? My leg. Oh, my leg. Yeah. Yeah. Shoot him down. Oh. Shoot him down. Yeah. Oh. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, that didn't go very well, that hike, did it? I think it was pretty good we got him up again. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, thanks, for, thanks for deciding that we were, that we were going to do it in the first place. That must have taken great initiative. It was a good walk. Thanks for the idea of uh, doing photograph and stuff. It was really fun. Yeah, I think we need to do something, uh, uh, um, not only walking. Um, how was your leg? <laughs> Tell me. I think it's broken. Well, he fell down that here. cliff. Yeah, you fell down the cliff. You were trying to take that photograph so that we were not just hiking because that would have been boring if we were just walking. No. No. No, no. Sorry, you're going to go again? I'm never going to go. Never? You're never, never going to go? No. Well, I, th I think I might not come again either. Come on, guys. This was about an experience together and you remember... We went down and helped you up, and it was hurting in the beginning, and then we gave you all the drugs so you could... Uh... <laughs> no, it's not broken. Do You're going to get better soon. Yes. Oh. <laughs> and once okay, you're okay, you'll want to go again. We had Surely you don't want to miss going with us on the next hike. Yeah. What about the elephants we saw? And we had all the food we needed, didn't we? We had lots of food. That was good. And at least the transport worked well. So thanks for organizing that. And we didn't get lost. Thanks for the maps. <laughs> so you see what happens when you all work together? Can somebody pay for them? <laughs> <laughs> okay, someone, someone from the group wants to make like a, uh, just a point, some of the things or skills that Already you mentioned it, but maybe some of the papers that the notes that you have that could be useful to share, please. Okay, we wrote a lot. <laughs> I don't know if all are. Um, so we talk about initiative, visionary, self awareness, communication, some knowledge, interpersonal skills, logistic budget. Uh, Research skills like analyzing, processing, collecting information, teamwork, decision making, emotional intelligence for taking care of each other, uh, facilitation, facilitation um, creativity, improvisation, problem solving when he get hurt, commitment to go to the end of the hike. Great, thank you very much. Can I keep this? Thank you. Okay, next group, come over here. Uh, so, it, for us, it will be very simple. So, we were proposing the same thing, a hike. So, the steps that we work out first to pose aims and objectives, which needed leadership and management skills. To find the path, destination, where, when, again, some ma management skills. To, to define roles, responsibilities, again, organization and man management skills. Uh, contact person which will join the organization team, again, communication and leadership skills. Gather information, uh, maybe a side visit. Doc research and organization skills, define resources needed, for example, map, first aid kit, etc. financial, again, financial skills and organization skills, set program and prepare plan B, and to end, contact the participants, so some communication skills. Thank you very much. Excellent, good job, good job. So I think you did a lot of reflection in a very short time and you organized a trip, which is <laughs> excellent. So we will move forward with the next uh, exercise that Sarah will lead until now. So Sarah, please. Yes. So here is it back. Now uh, we're going to match the exercise we did before with this one. And you're going to see what are the skills that you have here that match with those needs that you highlighted before. 
and to see what are, how do they respond and in what category. So you can have post-its if you prefer to stick them there and write them there, or you can just highlight them on the paper. I would prefer to put everything on the board. So here are some other post-its. Just a group again. So in front of the camera. <laughs> yeah, you can. They belong to different places. That's no problem. But they, they're just relevant for those needs that we're talking about. That's all.
You can add whatever missing skills you feel that one needs to fulfill those needs in the society. I said needs three times in a, in a phrase, but that's fine. Okay, so you can add your skills. You can add. Now, now that you have the list of skills and you already uh, allocated it for those needs, you can add some missing skills that you feel. Okay, whenever you finish, you can. Okay. You can add missing skills also after you finish allocating all these in the, in, uh, in the needs of the society. Add missing skills that you feel that are missing and that can fulfill those needs in the society.
Did we finish? Okay, great. Yeah? Missing life skills. Okay. So you're adding missing uh, life skills or no? <laughs> Who presents? You begin. Yep. Someone else. If, uh... Someone else. <laughs> okay, I, I went out when I come back. My group say I will present, <laughs> so I'm now presenting. Uh, whether I made a mistake, they will pardon me. Okay, uh, we were looking at we were looking at the skills here, so we find that defining the roles and responsibilities was a, a role model, so we put it under role models. And we also look at the goals and aims of, uh, of, of, our, of, our, of, of the hiking. So we find that that one is educational, so it's, it is uh, under education. We also look at uh, conducting the, the participant for the hike, and we, we, we find that that one is under communication, so that's what we have done. Thank you. About environment, we write this list of skills. Uh, I think uh, you need vision and initiative and reflect, reflection and action about your behaviors involving others to make the difference, teamwork, commitment, problem solving, and creativity. Um, education. Uh, we need, uh, you need a vision, too, <laughs> and initiative. Self-awareness and self-reflection. Uh, critical thinking, creativity, interpersonal skills, and commitment. And communication, you need uh, emotional intelligence and interpersonal skills to talk with other people, values, and self-awareness to know what you want to communicate. Yeah. Other? We're going to see an inspiring movie so that we can afterwards think out of the box and think of other things that could be very interesting as methodology for skills before doing the most important <laughs> yeah. it takes time so i guess you have all, all covered all the needs and you thought that really activities in scouting fill in with the needs of the society and we built really our leaders and young people to be more able to confront the society at some point and that we should keep in mind while developing any life skill program that we have in our associations so, uh, lights, can you? So
So I hope it was a bit inspiring, but it's really about the process of thinking about things and not just about a skill in itself, but it's also about critical thinking, about uh, communication, as you said, interpersonal and different uh, aspects that are problem solving, decision making, all these are skills that are acquired through a process of learning and not just in one session, for example, when you're talking about problem solving. It's about the situation. So now we're, we're going to sort out those skills to have lists of skills that we could implement in our NSOs. And what we're going to do is to divide them in three categories. We have the cognitive skills, the intrapersonal skills, and the interpersonal skills. And the three of them are quite um, distinctive because the cognitive skills are all the skills that are related to critical thinking, to, to processing information and analyzing it and understanding what are the information about. Intrapersonal skills are more of self-management skills where we can control our emotions, we can control what we're doing, how we're acting and all of this. And interpersonal skills are more for social relationships. So that's why we were writing them on post-its to really categorize them here, just go on the board categorize whatever you want in the, category, in the three categories we have that are quite uh, global and where we can fit all the different types of skills. We'll explain the next exercise afterwards. Yeah. So just and you can add, you can add whatever you think is valuable. Those that are here, and if you think of different, like the ones that you saw in the movie, for example, problem solving, if it's not present here, you could add it. Uh, decision making, which is not there as clear as it should be, you could add them. So um, just uh, move around the room, don't stick to your chairs. <laughs> so. Okay, just, just before... We're about to categorize those skills that we have in three categories that are the categories of the UNICEF and the categories that, are, that have been dealt with as skills because each one of them works on a different level at the, person, at the individual level and we need to understand each one of them, and what does it go? It's just a way, it's a very quick exercise, it shouldn't take long, it's just to categorize those. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, you can cut them, you can do whatever. Yeah, yeah, there's scotch tape. Just, just before to do this exercise, please stand up. Stand up, stand up. And you will do exactly what I'm going to do. I'm doing first and you follow me, okay? But 
give an interview. You will interview. Like you will say, I'm not doing the book. No, you do the book. Okay, great. Uh, so now we're having building critical thinking, creativity, gen genera generativity. Okay. Which means? Um, we thought about the, the ability to um, think about uh, and construct things that are not already in the social reality. So to question what is and see new opportunities that were not uh, open before. So the the ability to uh, generate yeah. something. Yeah, to generate something, but also uh, not just physically, but also socially. Okay. <laughs> Reframing reality. Mm. That uh, that open up for more opportunities. Defining the roles and the responsibilities, goals and aims, putting the goals and the aims, the vision, the problem solving, the creativity, vision and initiative, reflection. So do you agree all of you that this is cognitive and thinking skills? Intrapersonal skills, we have the values, the respect, self-awareness, self-reflection, commitment, initiative, creativity. I don't know, they're repeating themselves, but that's fine. Like They can be. The ability to be self-aware and uh, self-directed learning. Reflection and action, self-awareness, emotional intelligence. So I, uh, certainly emotional intelligence and the ability to be self-aware and self-directed learning, reflection and action and initiative. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say initiative here. I would put more everything that's much more related to whatever is in, uh, the, 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 in the personality of the person. And he's really working on that level. So any comments about this? Anyone? Oh, 
it is kind of uh, intrapersonal, but it's also linking a bit to the cognitive because it's also a process. But yeah, it could yeah. be here. But it's but present in both of them, so. Because Exactly. They are all connected. Yeah, that's the point. So <laughs> that's fine. Interpersonal skills. How to live in a multicultural society, contacting participants, teamwork, involving others, uh, family values, connecting to the family, and coping with diversity. Okay. So we have a list of those three skills. Now we're going to uh, split and you're, you're going to take two, uh, we're, we're two groups, so you're going to take these and try to think how we can integrate them in our uh, program, in our NSOs. For the youth program, how we can do a training or uh, a module or whatever that could be dealt with on a year, for example, during all our training sessions, during all your training program, I mean, and integrate those skills in it. So just take flip charts, flip, uh, flip um, papers from the flip charts, and do really a, um, uh, a program where you can integrate those lives. Yeah. Yeah. You can. It, it's up to you. You can deal with the adults, for example, and they can deal with the youth program. What are the? How can you integrate? How can you train adults to? deliver those modules, or how do you uh, think these could be integrated in the youth program? But at least it is the role of the leader to do that, so they, they join each other at the end. Because I think it's really important, we don't see this as a separate thing you have to train in, because this is what we do in our youth program. Exactly, because the... How do you optimize, how do you develop it? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, sure. So think of the youth program. Think the, the end result is the youth program at the end. So the training of adults is addressed to uh, to be able to to learn to let them learn or know how to address the youth program. So just split in in the two groups. Try to think of those. only one to three persons from the previous second side. The other one left. I don't know. I don't know if they will.
Yeah. And it is all depend on the objective that we set. Any activity that objective that we set for for what we want to have our young people, a scout member, a cup scout to be able to perform something. For example, patrol system. In the patrol system, uh, we will ask, uh, uh, for example, we ask the National Commission for Adult Resource, we will train uh, the adult leader. That patrol system is the way that we uh, <coughs> train our boy to get the skill like leadership skill, management skill, inter and then uh, we call communication skill also. And uh, learning by doing. This is the way that uh, <coughs> also that uh, cover the objective of uh, uh, create a skill for our young people and personal development, intrapersonal, uh, this is the critical thinking, interpersonal uh, communication. I think uh, all of us think that all the scout method uh, include and intend to develop all the need skill for our young people. For example, leadership skill, communication skill, emotional development in the patrol system, it's the way that our young people we develop the intelligent uh, <coughs> the emotional intelligence skill. This is very important because uh, based on our experience we see that each of them will do uh, a role as a leader and one of them will cook and one of them will plan and another one uh, will be responsible for hiking, something like that. You see the way that our the patrol system help our young people to develop the skill. This is our common understanding. That's all. Thank you. There is, uh, do you have any comment about this? Are you agree with that? Okay, please come over here. Okay, I'm going to quickly start whilst they are <laughs> sticking up. Okay, um, so we talked a lot about um, thinking about the planning of a project and how we thought that that really helped to develop a lot of the skills we thought were important. We thought that really like a learning culture rather than a teaching culture was one of the most important things so that um, youth get to experience the whole of the planning process so they can develop all the skills that we were previously talking about. Um, uh, f facilitating learning through myentica, is that right? Myautica. Um, basically means answering questions with questions. So we talked about a bit about story where a kid, if they ask, you know, what do elephants eat? Instead of telling the child what an elephant eats, you say, how are you going to find out what that elephant eats? What are you going to do to answer your own question? Um, then letting youth initiate their own tasks rather than just giving them tasks to complete because that helps with um, creating initiative. Um, allowing people to dream, um, fostering self-confidence through belief. So I believe in you is a really important thing. Um, not forgetting the aim with everything that you do. So always thinking about how to um, empower youth. Um, giving the youth opportunities to contribute to society is also really important. Um, and then creating diversity of ideas by giving them activities with surprising outcomes. So, for instance, you may be playing a game and then you say, all right, now the rules of the game have changed. What are you going to do about it? Um, and it really gives them the opportunity to be creative, but also a safe place to try things and fail, possibly, um, so that next time they can learn from it. And then construction, the idea that um, they can create something with their own hands that then stands up and they can see it and they can say, I've done that. And it gives a lot of self-confidence. Um, and then uh, teamwork, obviously, for interpersonal skills. 
uh, and also then a safe environment because freedom um, from fear allows you to really grow and develop and also um, develop your interpersonal skills with other people. Um, sharing is also an in for interpersonal skills and then duty to others as well. The idea of, you know, your duty, your rights, but also your duties to everybody else. So that's what we got. Thank you. Do you have any comment? Something to add? No? Okay. So, how do you feel after three, or three hours working in this process? Those who feel like uh, to five? Who is in five? Raise your hand. Yes, five good? Yes? Four? Yes, four? Three? Okay, so I think we have been, we have been successful, and uh, I, we really hope that all this uh, experience has been uh, learning for you, reflecting, and also try once you back home and you start to share this spirit with your friends, when your national boards, when the director of the organization, try to spread, try to spread the word which is very important. I think we are uh, in a good opportunity to be here in the first education congress from one organization that took, took us like a more than 100 years to do it. It is interesting, isn't it? So I think we are blessed for being here, okay? Yes. So uh, I would like to ask to fulfill the evaluations. And before to finish the session, I need uh, four volunteers, two for each group, very quick. I need all of them here. Two volunteers from, from every group. Okay? Two, two volunteers from here? One more, one more. We need four. Okay, David, you stay there. Okay, make a line in front of the audience. Okay? So, when I play a music, <laughs> you, will, you will dance as you want, okay? As your body feel. Just open your mind, makes your... Uh... No, I'm just going to play the music, just, just a minute. Yes. Just, just one thing. This, this module is uh, being developed in Youth for Change, as we said, with WASM. So your input is very important for it, actually. And we need to continue working on it till the conference. So um, that's why your participation was very important for us, actually, today. And, I, and the fact that it was successful is good. Great. The music is ready? <laughs> yes. No, sorry, I, something happened. I, that's supposed to be like that. But the reflection with this dance is like, uh, probably when the first was difficult to become a volunteer, so sometimes it's something new. So because we probably we, don't, we think that we don't have the skills to do that, to do any exercise. So once they were in front of it, when I said, I will play a, a, a music and you will dance, probably it's like, a, oops what I did it, you know? Because we're thinking, maybe I'm not very well skilled for that. 
So um, this is a very small example that keep in mind that you just remind when you were teenagers, you know, I think the youth had the right to make mistakes. And we have the right also for continuing making mistakes in our lives. We are not perfect. So in every day we will develop a different skills and that's how the society will move forward and how as a scouting and as a scout, we can help to create in a better world. Thanks for being here. It was a pleasure and privilege to share this uh, session with you. And well, that's all. Thank you very much. <laughs>